Greetings fellow adventurers, this is Vexus, and I'd like to welcome you to the Let's Play of Siberia. Um, first off, kudos goes to the uh, man behind this game, uh, Benoit Sokal, and also to the company Dreamcatcher uh, for producing and distributing this game. Uh, similar to uh, the Dreamfall uh, series, this is the result of a near nearly unanimous request. Um, so I hope you will enjoy this series. Um, it does uh, appear to have actually some relationship with The Longest Journey. Um, I'm not sure how true this is, but um, my understanding is that it was the success of the original Longest Journey game that uh, proved that the formula of a kind of epic adventure with a strong female lead uh, would sell with the general public. And so uh, this came out uh, a few years after The Longest Journey, I believe in 2002. And uh, if epic adventure kind of describes The Longest Journey, then I think the best word that describes the Siberia series is um, melancholy. It's an adventure game that has a kind of sense about it that, you know, things were once very mystical and wonderful and, uh, how should I say, wondrous, and then basically everything fell apart. And now everyone's trying to kind of regain that lost sense of wonder um, or else just kind of reliving the good old days in their minds. So definitely a, a different feel from uh, the Longest Journey series to be sure. Uh, but still a solid adventure game. The puzzles are, I'd probably say, a couple notches up in difficulty. And unlike the Longest Journey series, which I have played uh, many, many, many times over, I've only played through the Siberia series about once or twice. And so this is going to be a little bit more of a, uh, a raw let's play, because I don't uh, know most of the solutions just off the top of my head. It's going to take me a little bit to um, either remember the solutions uh, or uh, figure them out once again, because I've forgotten about them. Um, but as I've done in the past, if things start to slow down a lot, um, I'll make sure to edit the uh, video so that it hopefully won't get too boring. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to say for the intro to this uh, game series. Um, so like I said, uh, be prepared for a little bit of a different feel, but still uh, a good adventure and um, a very good story. And uh, as always, I give you my promise that I will make it to the end here. And uh, the main story comes in two parts. Um, Siberia and then Siberia 2. Um, so uh, I'll try to get to the end of the first part um, at a good pace and then I may or may not take a break in between the two games. We'll see how it goes and, and uh, uh, how long it actually takes me to finish each part. So um, we will, in the next part, we will start the actual gameplay and uh, Hope you enjoy it. As always, uh, if you find yourself uh, liking the game and, and thinking you want to take a crack at it yourself, uh, be sure to buy a copy. Um, just like uh, The Longest Journey, uh, the Siberia series is available online for a uh, pretty reasonable uh, reasonable price, given how, uh, how many years have passed. It's a nice thing about buying old games. Okay, enough blabbing from me. See you in the next part.